right guys welcome to Leo's tech channel if you're new here welcome and i'm so so happy to see you all once again guys i try my best to deliver whatever valuable information is available and information communication technology to all of you the only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe share the videos with your friend with your family with whoever you think they pursue these kind of valuable information anyway right now i am logging to windows server 2022 the most recent windows server anyway if you want to learn more about me who i am where i come from so here is the uh, i have you i have a uh, I have a Udemy classes, so you, you can join in. Let me share if I can find in here. Uh, just give me one second, guys. I should able to show my profile with all of you. All right, there you go. This is me. Yes, this is me. Uh, um, Elias Hassanzai is my name, and I have about 8,000 students. So I have uh, four valuable courses so far, and right now I'm working on Linux administration, one of the another operating system which i really love linux as well but anyway it's windows server 2022 full course if you want if you have a big fan of windows it's about 10 hours lecture i threw myself inside windows server 2022 and i grab a lot of things which is very important so if you look at the sign it's new it's very new go ahead and find me there as well all right let's dive into the lecture three two one so we're going to talk about one of the very important topic which is called audit policy it's very important guys uh, because nowadays if you are not able to see what is going on and who is logging who is failed who is not to successfully log into the computer or so on that is called audit policy and you have to keep your eyes because if you find someone uh, if you find any suspicious activity in your domain controller you have to take an action otherwise your computer gonna be compromised and ransomware will give you a call hey man do you mind to give me two billion dollars and it's of course no that's the answer anyway so there's the two ways there's a local security policy and there's a group policy management once you install configure active directory in your windows server whether you're using windows server 2022 windows server 19 uh, windows server 2019 windows server 12 uh, 2012 <laughs> 2008 2003 maybe oh, maybe who knows but yes it's the same procedure but what we're gonna do is we need to come to group policy management because the local security policy is not working anymore because you have an install active directory so now the wind the, the domain the windows is it's a centralized process unit to the entire environment that you are working on okay we are coming here what we're gonna do is uh, already here let me close this one uh, once we get in here uh, let me close this one because I just want to make it very very uh, I just want to explain everything with more details uh, right so server manager once you get here a uh, group policy management once you get here of course yes we are here once you get here we have a group policy object what I'm going to do I am going to create a new object new object once i create a new object i would say audit audit policy po policy audit policy i say this is only audit policy okay if i open in here i have a specific group policy object which is named audit policy all right let's see what we're gonna audit what we're gonna track what we're gonna do with audit policy right click in here edit once you get here, what we're gonna do is we have a computer configuration. You need to come to policies. Once you get in here, you have to come to Windows settings. When you get here, what you need to do is that there is a specific place which is called security setting. Security setting. Once we click in here, we have a account policy and we have a local policy. In here, what I'm going to do is I would say that I need audit policy. Click in here, you have a bunch of options in here. You don't have to know all of them, but there are some of the most important things that you should keep in your mind as a person, as a technical person who works in any company or organization, whether it's profit or non profit. I don't care. Let's learn what's going on. Audit system event. This is very important. Anything happen with the system, I just want to make sure. Whether it's a success or failure, I need to know that first. 
apply okay the second is audit pro uh, process tracking i didn't need to do the track anything even i uh, i didn't need to do this one uh, uh, uh audit processing tracking it's also if you turn on it track the users whether it's successful or not let's turn this one on as well make sure that but it's not necessary uh, the last is audit uh, privilege use I don't prefer this one to use it because I just want to see if someone is giving someone privilege audit every uh, it's a kind of accounting to make sure what's going on and we have done what they're supposed to do so in here audit policy change define these policy setting audit these uh, attempts so in here if in case of policy change on any computer or user you have to send it to audit I just want to track that one as well audit object access so in here if you turn this one on if someone is doing whatever he or she is doing and just send me whether it's attempt or fail for example login to the user it delete the file log into the user and delete the file and for example you're john and you log into the bob computer user profile and you delete some file so i can easily check with audit policy if someone has done it audit login even this is very important audit login event this is important this is this is the important audit log on event this is this is something that will can say it's very necessary for accounting if someone messed up their password three time and get failed and not able to log in so we have a local group policy we have many policies that we can track those kind of things but this is for audit to have a record when it happened, where it happened, which time was that, which second was that, what date was that, and whether he, he got failed or success to in, he got inside the computer. For example, uh, I give administration password to John. John is logged into the computer and he create, he delete one of these policies, one of the uh, group policy. And what gonna do is next time most of the clients start complaining and once I log in to domain use it, domain controller and check the audit and I will find it okay John uh, was the one who logged in at that time and he was the one who made the changes the rest is as you wish but so far these one two three four I just turned this one on let's see uh, what gonna happen what once we turn this one on one thing one thing you should keep in your mind it's already on but it's not applied to any groups it's only group authentication group it's audit policy let's assign to all domain users so let's type domain so i have a domain admin i will say domain users domain admin is also member of domain users as well all right so it, it uh, automatically apply on domain users who are whoever is a member of that domain it's not outside we have a built-in we have a built-in user and we have a domain user guys if you're familiar with that that's good if it's not then that is a different topic all right so let's close this one I will, i'm gonna close this one i want to close this one too uh let's go to cmd uh gp update uh gp app Update. I'm gonna GP update what I'm going to do. I will sign out and sign in with different user and type the password and three time failed and I just want to see if the audit is able to capture that moment. Uh, sign out my friend. Goodbye, we'll see you never. Uh, okay, so here you go. I have a user by the name of Elias Tech. I know the password but I want to type intentionally three time wrong password and I just want to see if uh, it works all right no all right this guy has failed to log in okay now what we're gonna do is we log into the domain admin user and what we're gonna do is to um, see if audit were able to capture those moments because I tried three times to log in but I failed because I can't remember the password so if you try with different user because I'm logging to domain if you try with a different user for example join with the same domain I'm sure you will prompt like the account is locked right where are you even please people are impatient nowadays I have no idea why people are so impatient even <coughs> viewer, we are you even 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 viewer there you go what I'm going to do is the first thing that I'm going to do is come to the Windows locks security 
security says you have to wait there's a lot of things happen and I want to show you in a minute all right so successful successful do we have any failure things in here successful 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 wow no one failed here you go there's a guy failed failure and success we said whether it is failure or success show me both of them success is me and failure is who let me see who is this guy Elias tech the username is Elias Tex, and this was the guy who failed three times this guy is failed this guy is failed so here you go we got an audit policy and in here it shows that who is failed and what happened were he able to make some changes or not the answer is no Elias Tech is a username this is how we can do the issues with authentication services so that's why I track and the keyword or that is failure this guy is failed I said whether it's failed or passed show me all right this is how you can modify your audit policy using Windows Server 2022 but I say it's not necessary but it's 19 or 2012 or so on okay guys if you think this was a very helpful information what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe my channel share this valuable information with your colleagues with your friend with whoever you think they are pursuing such a valuable information until next time stay safe be brave and be patient guys be patient i have no idea i, I notice nowadays people are very impatient be patient all right <laughs>